Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Hilda. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a very easy yet delicious marinade for flank steak. This kind of steak, you can eat it just like that, or put it on tacos, or fajitas, or maybe quesadillas with a steak. They are so delicious and juicy. For this marinade, you will need a fourth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, a fourth of a cup of soy sauce, and the juice of one lemon or lime. Today I have lemons, so I just add the lemons. The last thing you're gonna need are two garlic cloves that you're gonna mince. Go ahead and take everything there. Next. And you wanna get one and a half pound of flank steak. When buying your flank steak, try to purchase choice or prime. A little bit of more quality gives you way more flavor. So you're gonna go ahead and put your steak in this marinade and let it marinate for around two hours. You wanna cover perfectly everything there. So I'm gonna let this marinate and come back and cook it together. After you let it marinate for around two hours in the fridge, you're gonna go ahead and set a pan on the stove and let it get very hot. You want it to be hot because you want to achieve the searing of your steak. We sear our steak so the juices, all those delicious juices are inside, get, it, they stay inside in the process of cooking. You can finish cooking your flank steak on the stove because this is a fairly thin cut of steak. You don't need to put it in the oven to finish cooking it. After you let it rest for around 10 minutes, you can cut it. And I'm gonna show you how juicy this is. Let's see. So you can see here in this camera, super juicy and tender. So you can cut it and serve it on a tortilla or just eat it plain like that. It's so delicious and satisfying. I'm gonna go ahead here and cut some pieces to put it on a taco and finish later to show you how it can look. When you finish, serve it on a tortilla with some tomatillo sauce on top some cilantro, and if you want, you can add a little queso on top. It looks better and tastes delicious. And I promise you, you love this steak. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. See you next time here in Cooking with Hilda.